The trial of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walter Nogan, mm -hmm. on six count charge bordering on allegation of non declaration of assets, particularly his domiciliary account running into several hundreds of thousands of euros, dollars, and pounds, also including Naira account resumed Tuesday. At the reception of trial, counsel representing him, led by Wole Olanik Bekung SCN, drew the attention of the tribunal to the fact that there are several others stopping the continuation of the trial by the Federal High Court and the National Industrial Court. He also told the court that there is an appeal before the Court of Appeal, citing authorities such as Muhammad v. Olawumi, Nigerian Weekly Law Report 1993, among others, stating that all others of the Federal High Court, Court of Appeal and Supreme Court must be honored by other courts. He, however, urges the court to obey others of the court by adjoining the matter indefinitely. In his objection, counsel to the federal government, Aliyu Umar SAN, urges the court not to grant the relief in that the Constitution only provides courts of appeal and Supreme Court to play a supervisory role on the CCT and not the Federal High Court and the National Industrial Court as the CCT has the same jurisdiction with them. The CCT took an hour break to be able to rule on the application to adjoin the matter Sinedai. And after it resumed sitting, both the chairman of the tribunal, Danladi Umar, and the second member, Julie Annabo, ruled that court orders by Federal High Court and National Industrial Court is not binding on the CCT as they have same jurisdiction, stressing that it must jealously guide its jurisdiction. However, a dissenting ruling came from the first member of the tribunal, William Atadze, that the matter be adjoined synodai pending the determination of the suit in the various courts. After his ruling, the matter was decided in favor of the federal government council to continue with the trial. The chairman calls on the CJN's council to proceed with his application contesting the jurisdiction of the tribunal to hear the matter. He was told that the application by the prosecution was served on him a few hours before the ruling. The chairman thereafter adjoins the matter to Monday, January 28th to hear the various applications which include that of the prosecution seeking it to order the CJN to step aside while the trial is on. Counsel to the CJN in their number spoke to journalists on the proceedings while the prosecution counsel declined comments. The tribunal gave ruling as you listened. The chairman gave a ruling saying that um, the decisions of the Federal High Court, the National Industrial Court, and the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, the interim orders given are not binding on the tribunal. And in the wisdom of the tribunal, or in the ruling of the tribunal, the tribunal of the tribunal, the tribunal said, all those rulings constitute a nullity. So the second member said that the proper thing for them to do relying on decisions of the Supreme Court or Court of Appeal, on the Constitution, etc., held that ordinarily they ought to adjourn Sinedai in obedience, in compliance with those rulings. Drama and melodrama was witnessed today during the argument for the application to adjourn the matter Sinedai based on the others of the Federal High Court and that of the National Industrial Court. But the matter was, however, adjourned to Tuesday, 28 January, for hearing of application on the jurisdiction of the court to hear the matter. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja.